Hi folks, this is Tom again, and we wanted to bring you a new fish tank demo, but first, let's just do a quick review of where we've been with the Travis Effect. We started out introducing the Travis Effect to you, and showed you that the Travis Effect will drastically reduce the amount of air required for lift. In our second demo, we showed you that, that was a scalable effect, and that we, as we came up to this one gallon size, we got to a 40 to 1 ratio of reduction. In our third video, Matthew suggested that we keep the volume the same and show what happens. And when we did that, we showed that the ratio that we were looking at in volume reduction also applies as a multiplier of force if you keep the volume the same. So that begs the question, we have a force multiplier, what are we going to do with it? Well, we're going to move on to the fish tank and try to show you a little bit of that. Remember that force times distance equals work. And so what we're looking for is force over a distance. And that's what we're going to get to here in our example. We've got a smaller one quart block on our stand and we've got our same uh, one quart cup. So let's get on to the fun stuff and start talking about work. So here we are at the fish tank again, and what we want to show is force over a distance. And I'm going to slide this cup up just to show that we've got our three ounces of air to the mark. Just as in demo number three, we've got a little shorter cement block. And we've added a one pound soft weight and two quarter pound fishing weights for a pound and a half. And what we're going to show you today is that as we press this down, the air starts to flow beneath the block some of the water will trickle off on the on the sides but you can see that as I release this it immediately comes back to its repulsion point and you can do this over and over again we've got force over a distance we've got a piston action that's happening here and what we've got is lift created with ten times less air than standard buoyancy so this demo begins to show that we can design our process to capture the Travis effect at that elevated buoyancy.